Hi guys and welcome to my new guide on fishing and how to get to 1 to 800 really really quickly. Uh, one thing that I've found just on every general website is that there's not a lot of guides on how to get 1 to 800 fishing and it triggered me to hell that there was no guide so I'm just going to quickly explain how they work just in a quick little simple and how I got to 800. I got to 800 in around about an hour and then from that I started doing the rare bait fishing and stuff like that and yeah it, it really really triggered me because there was just no guides at all but what you want to be doing is you can start this at level one but you aren't gonna have as much success but what you want to do is start in Azuna so the way the way the fishing works is you fish up um, you fish up fish in a zone, like say for instance Azuna. So you fish up the queen fish in Azuna. And there's a chance that you'll get bait. And with this bait, you click, you use it. And when you get the bait, you make sure you want to use it. When you're on top of a fishing school. If you pop the buff, it's basically a two minute buff you get. Every time you get bait. And then once you've got this bait, it's basically like more than likely guaranteed that every time you fish, you'll get a rare fish. And to get the um, Underlight Angler, which is the um, the really, really overpowered fishing artifact weapon. The reason it's so overpowered is due to its traits. It kind of works like an artifact weapon in the fact that it gives you traits. The more you fish, the more artifact power you get. So, for instance, Black Barracuda grants a chance to fish up an entire school. And when you've got three ranks in it, like I have with the Rune Scale Koi and the Black Barracuda, it's more than likely one to three casts. You'll get a um, you'll get an instant instant school fish which means the school of fish which you're fishing at will just instantly turn into a barrel and you can pick it up and you can lose it for fish which is really really efficient for gold farming like for instance a rune scale koi around about costs costs about 10 gold every single um fish and there's a chance i'm getting there's a chance i'm getting about like six fish every school instantly which is just really really good so now just to show you how um one to eight hundred works is There'll be a, a daily fisherman's friend up every day, which is more, it's like, it's like a, um, each of the zone has a fish, has a fish friend, and what you do is you just go there and fish, and there's a chance that you'll get, when, if you go to the person, in this specific pool, you'll be picking up, um, globules, like, for instance, in the Valshara one, it's a corrupted global which will which will drop from these fish from this pool for as a chance and then in Suramar it's something called like an awesome fish and you hand it into someone but all the zones work the same as this but just with different different places so daily or weekly there'll be a different there'll be a different person so when I first did it when I was grinding mine it was Suramar but now it's Valshara so it kind of works like um Archmage Kalagos if you've done that before where um You'll get these corrupted globules and you'll hand it into the person and your rep will go up with the person. And once your rep's up high enough, you can literally buy up, you can buy instant um, baits, which gives you the rare um, fishes. So I'll show you what, what the rare fishes look like and why you want them so badly. Usually there'll be a lot, a lot more people fishing in these raids but since i'm doing it quite late around f it's around about 3 a.m server times so there's not a lot of people but usually there'll be packs of about 40 raid like 40 people just sitting here fishing and the item you want is there's a chance that you get a um there's a chance you get an item which spawns a mob and it gives you a chance of getting the corrupted globbles or whatever the currency is in that zone from 30 to 50 and with that you can just literally buy as many baits as possible so you can literally just fish in this one place and get all your rare fish. So for instance, you're getting you're getting you know your classic one skill every time you fish here. So that's going up you know on on um on passively. But once you once the ads are spawning and the more people you've got in your group, the more you're gonna spawn. Like now I've got a corrupted global, so I'm gonna hand it into her. And now my rep's gone up. Usually you'll be getting a lot lot more than I did. When I was in Suramar, we had a full raid of 40, and there was just ads spawning one after another over and over and over again and at some points like every 10 minutes i was making at least 200 of the currency which you know in the bait terms is crazy i'm just gonna be getting rare fish 
But the way you want to be getting the oh, so now the disgusting ooze. So this is what the um, it's what the ad is. So now the ad will spawn. Everyone attacks the ad. Oh, usually he'll die instantly. But for instance, like everyone, everyone when they when they fish has a chance to loot that item which I just got, which is just insane. Oh, for some reason, I can't leave that. It's probably just some weird thing. Oh, I see what it does. So, in some of the zones, you kill the ad and it gives you the fish. But on this zone, it, it, it increases the chance for you to loot the corrupted globbles every time you fish. So, you can see, yeah, two corrupted globbles. So, I think this is a pretty hard one. I think the Surma one was actually pretty easy. But this was one of the rare baits I, I caught, I picked up. So, Rotten Fishbone. So, if I quickly show how this bait works... So let me just fish up this last bit. Then another two corrupted globbles, and I'll hand these in for, for rep. Take all my rep. There we go. So the way this works, throw the fish bone. So some of them have like little quirks to them. Like this one is a fish bone where I'll throw the fish fish bone on the ground. And you'll see a druid. It will come out and snatch it, and then it will give me a buff. Which will happen soon. So some of them are just straight buffs. Like when you click on one and you throw it into a pool, it will give you a two minute buff. But now this one's a little quirk one where it's gonna the the druid's gonna eat it and then give me a buff. Usually a buff will last two minutes, but if you have the artifact weapon, um, every time you put a trait in it, it increases the amount of time your baits baits are eight percent every trait purchased. And this is why the artifact weapon is just so so good to have if you're spamming fishers, because fishers is one of like one of the better um one of the better one of the better gold making methods now. With the coming up to BFA, so as you can see with that bait, the with the bait I had, I got a rare fish. The reason I know it's a rare fish is because um, each zone obviously has its own fish. Like this fish, ha this one has Mosgill perch, but I'm keep getting these terrafins, which is toss the fish back into the water, granting 50 artifact power. If you don't have the artifact weapon for this, it will increase your skill by five every time up to um, 800. So obviously, when there's more people here. You're going to be making so, so, so much um, rare fish. And you can throw them back into ponds to get to 800 really quickly. And then when you've got to 800 really, really quick, you can just um, you can start fishing normally and go around. Collect all the baits in each zone. And, um, yeah, fish to your heart's content. But there'll be... There's free rare fish in every single zone. So, for example, for, um, for Val Shirar, there's the rotten there's the rotten fish or the terror fish. Then there's the buff you get from the Drowned Thistle Leaf and the Nightmare Nightcrawlers. And just every single zone has a different one. It's literally all based on RNG. I've seen some people where they've literally fished for a full day and they haven't got one item. Whereas when I did it, I literally did the High Mountain one and about three, three uh, casts. And the longest one was um, Azuna due to the fact there's not, a lot of, um, there's not a lot of schools of fish around. So what I'd, I'd recommend is going... Save Azuna till last because that one is really really frustrating to do so leave that one last so you get the rest of them done You're not too triggered. I uh, recommend starting with Stormheim then going to um, then going to Suramar, High Mountain, Valshara and then Azuna. So now you can see we killed that glob ball again and see two more people got the dis 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 disgusting ooze so they we can just keep spawning it over and over again and just guaranteed that every time we fish, we'll get these corrupted globbles. So obviously when you have more raid members, you'll literally be killing an ad every every two or three minutes. So you're just kind of constantly picking up the corrupted globbles. So right now it's not that efficient, but literally when you've got when you've got a full raid of 40, you're just going to be getting corrupted globbles over and over again. It's just really, really good. And you can get your skill up really, really fast. So yeah, that's how you get to 800 really quick and how fishing in Legion pretty much works. But yeah, I'll hand in these corrupted globbles quickly to this um, keeper. There's also one achievement, which is um, one of the fishing achievements where um, you need to get exalted with every single fishing friend around around the um, world. So I'm already exalted with the one in Suramar because that one was pretty quick. Due to the fact that every time you kill the mob which spawns in um, in Suramar, it actually gives you the, the, um, the rep tokens and you don't have to fish them up. So it's really, really efficient. But as you can see, yeah, especially if these were 5 to um, 800, that's like 5, 10, 15, 20. That's for easy 30, 30 skill right there. So it just depends on what week it is and what day it is and what fisherman friends up. 
and what you're getting. But as you can see, I just hand in, just keep handing these in, and she'll take them, and I keep getting my rep up. But yeah, that's basically it for fishing. Um, I'll be making more guides in the future on gold making and just general PvE videos. So like and subscribe and comment if you want me to change anything. And see you in the next one.